do know that we're, we're recording, right? Do you know that? Why you ain't tell me to press that button? Damn it! <laughs> Hey, 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 what it do, y'all? This is The Gender Project presents Red High Ripley Talk. And for those tuning in for the first time, this is an entertaining podcast slash YouTube channel, honey, that creates healthy dialogue regarding various topics between us and them. Hi. I'm sorry. Anyway, okay, so last week we gave you the five don'ts. They don't even know who we are. Oh, you're right. I'm Chi. I'm Church. <laughs> I forgot about that. So last week we, we, we talked about the five don'ts to dating through social media. We did. All right. So this week, what we were going to be talking about was, you know, if somebody decides to wave. And actually, somebody felt sorry for him and said, you know what? I'm going to go on a date with this dude. We that is not what it was. <laughs> we ain't giving no pity dates in 2019. No. This is a very distinguished man who is serious about love and being in a relationship. And he is interested in the woman. Yep. But his funds are low. His funds are low. So basically, Jay, he posted something on his Facebook page about um, ex inexpensive date ideas. Um, a lot I of women. Did. It didn't go too well. <laughs> it didn't go well at all. Yeah, a lot of women were, they weren't really feeling that. They kind of created their own scenario based off of what should have been just a little simplistic. <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to let you finish. I do feel like I, I got where they were coming from, though. I knew where you were going with the post because we had already talked about it. But I understood where they were coming from as far as inexpensive dates. So the question is, since you're a guy. Man. Oh, gosh. He's sticking his chest out now, Chuck. Okay, good question. Yes, answer. <laughs> Actually, I got quite a few questions. That's right? a way. So we're going to make this YouTube uh, video more so uh, about the male's perspective. All right, so I'm going to grill you a little bit on the That's fine. I'm ready behalf, for it. Okay? Grill me. <laughs> okay, so right. let's talk about are you going to eat or are you going to talk? I'm going to listen to exactly what you're saying. I'm sorry. Hey, give me some. Okay. No, me no, there. Jay. Just can we here. can we just get some of the questions out first? It's all right, I'll come back. Dang. I'll come back. Okay, so first question. Yes. Inexpensive date. What do you consider an inexpensive date? Dollar amount now. For me, an inexpensive date, I would say less than $20. That's really cheap. I know. Wait, that, I said cheap. See? Sorry. Yeah, don't say That's cheap. cheap. There is such a negative connotation with the word cheap. That's why I didn't say cheap. Inexpensive. It's a different I know, but you, you, you kind of you know, making it all light and airy. Let's just call it what it is. It's not cheap, though. Okay, see, so let's talk about it. That's let's break it down. That's the problem with y'all women. <laughs> y'all be thinking somebody just trying to be cheap when a man is probably just being conservative. Okay, so let's, before we go, before we go into this inexpensive date that he's going to fund for $20, let's talk work. about the scenario of, of the inexpensive date. Like, is it, cause the women were, they weren't really feeling your post, okay? They weren't. So, That's cause the they guy, savages. And I should well, call y'all out by name, y'all. Lucky I'm y'all friends. I'm they my only, friends too, they, they team G now. What's up, y'all? <laughs> Make a brother want to jump off a small bridge. I was reading them comments like... Dude, hush. Okay. So what's the scenario with the inexpensive date? Not yourself. Just whoever this imaginary guy was in your <laughs> in your post that should have been getting a job. Then they going to be thinking about me. <laughs> like, I have a job. <laughs> just so you guys you know. You have jobs, okay? I do have a lot. 
Okay. But it was so a hypothetical. Is yeah. he a bum? Is he no. like a starving artist? Is he an entrepreneur that has started over? Is he just down on his luck? Because, you know, he has other things going on, like child support. I, that's a whole nother topic. But I'm just throwing scenarios out there. As <laughs> That's a whole nother video. So here's a scenario. Okay. He's a regular guy, working hard, not cool job. He has his own car, own house. No kids, no girl, no anything like that. He's just a regular bachelor out here looking for love. He hopped in the inbox, shot his shot, bam, actually got the number, and he's ready to take her out. But is he? That's what this is for. You women need to understand <laughs> that yes, a man can be ready to date and will date. Just because his funds are low doesn't mean he can't take you on a really nice date. That's what the post was for. I mean, if we gonna be real, everybody has had that point where they've had low funds. For sure. So, so I, I know a lot of comments we were talking about, um, um, you know, letting the girl know, being upfront and being honest. Now, me personally, I wouldn't go that far to just be like, hey, I ain't even gonna lie to you. I'm broke. Uh, but because I want to take you out of there. That could be a turn off. That could be an, an initial hella turn off. Turn off. Like yeah, like I'm I'm right, not in it. I'm not in agreement with that. Okay. But yeah. the happy medium in between. Okay. So don't put all your info, all your business out there about your funds being low and all of that. But just be creative and come up with something that is inexpensive that still shows that you care and that you appreciate okay, her and you're interested. I have another question then. Okay. What's okay. inexpensive? Let's talk about that. That's so a relative cheap word. Date budget. Let's talk about that because for some it may okay. be 20, some it may be 50, some it may be 100. Some it may be more than that depending on the dude, depending on his taste, depending on how much he's trying to impress her. Well listen, I got fine taste, okay? I like to drink a Cabernet. Spell it. C A B or nay. <laughs> I knew you was gonna say. Man, <laughs> whatever. Listen. Riverview. But, hmm. Don't you start. Listen. So inexpensive is a relative word. Okay. True. Nice. So what may be inexpensive to me may be very expensive to somebody else. So you're not answering the question. What was the question, my bad? What are you considering an inexpensive date? I need a Me dollar personally. amount so I can throw out some ideas as to how you can spend your money but still impress her. But is this for like me personally or just what I think in general is a inexpensive date? Give me general. Let's be general. Okay, cool. Yeah. So general, I guess it'll still apply to me because this is what I'm thinking. So. Okay, fine. <laughs> oh so inexpensive for me would be $20 or less. What? That's really cheap. Okay. Ooh, that's, that's, yeah. <laughs> cool. Okay. And what all are you doing with this $20, sir? Oh, uh, it all depends. There's a lot of things you can do. I'm listening. <laughs> Actually, we're listening. So, walks in the park, picnics, science center. Picnic. Let's stop it. Stop at picnic. Okay. All right. We so do what does this picnic consist of? Is this food out your frigidaire? Are you purchasing a bucket of chicken from somewhere? Did you use a coupon? I mean, what I need to know. Did you get the waters out the barbershop where you cut hair? <laughs> like, come on. How much are you spending on food? Are you going to have dessert? Are you going to have wine? That's a little more than $20 now. Come on, get creative, right. church. I can come get on. creative, okay, though. Okay, come on, $20. So listen, come bam, on. $20. Um, $20 date, and you guys can definitely have this if add, you want. Add it up right here. Add it up? Yeah, add okay. It so they can see it. Cool. Yeah. So you got... We got $20. You got $20. American dollars, Hold on. right? Give is me this a, American? Give me, give me some pen and paper. I'm trying to write this out. We trying to do this for real. This is, oh, this is on this the is spot. You want to try and test me. Let's see if he knows what he's doing. So we got $20. All right, so you buy some $5 wine. Fab, okay. St. James. St. James has a really awesome wine that is $5 at Schnucks. Okay. Okay. So now we got 15 left. Um, um, Where's the food coming in? So at? listen, it's coming. It's coming. She's hungry. She's been saving her appetite for this date. We ain't anybody tell her to do all that, though. See, that's where y'all be mad. Who said save your appetite? She's going on a date. So, so you got to eat every time you go on a date? 
Not every time, but that that should consist of a date sometimes. Yeah, greedy. She's supposed man. to be full when she get with you on this date. Okay, you know what? No, no, no. all right. Extra food out. He can't no, do no, it, y'all. No. I can't do, can't it. do it. Okay, I can't do it. All right, cool. So right, where's the food coming from? It all depends, cause I'm gonna have a nice conversation with her, and I'm gonna find out what it is that she likes. She likes scrimp. And so, lobster tails and cool. crab legs. Shrimp and lobster tails. So that means I'm gonna make two peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. <laughs> Cause that's it's the thought that counts. See, anybody can just make some shrimp. <laughs> but when you take your time to spread that jiff, cause we ain't doing Peter Pan or Skippy. We doing jiff. That's expensive. That's like three dollars right there. She's allergic to peanuts. All right. Uh bologna. There it is. Bologna sandwich. Is it boiled? <laughs> Church loves spoiled bologna, ladies. Stop playing. Get into it. No, I don't. All right, sandwich. Bam, there it is. You just said sandwich. 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 That's when you know it's good when you eat a he sandwich. He just earned a whole cool point for Give me. me. Some. There it is. Come on. This is a perfect opportunity. Come on. I take it back. Say it nope. the right way. Can't do it. Can't do it. It's already out there. It's in the atmosphere. <laughs> So we're gonna, I'm gonna make sandwiches. I'm going to make personal sandwiches of whatever she likes. She likes turkey. All right, so I'll make a nice- wheat bread. I'll make a nice turkey club she with some wheat Kobe bread. She likes Kobe Jack cheese, sir. With Kobe Jack cheese. So if this is deli turkey, you've already almost went over your $15. That's $5. <laughs> I'm only getting like a eighth is of a pound. Is this deli or is this the stuff that's prepackaged that's pumped with all that preservatives and additives? You trying to kill her on the first date, bruh? One preserved GMO <laughs> infested turkey sandwich is not gonna not kill her. GMO infested. It's cool. So listen, we go do prepackaged wheat okay. bread with Kobe. So that's we go say five dollars all together out of that. So now See, we left. Are you going to Aldi? Yes. Okay, I ain't mad at Aldi. Shout out to Aldi. Ten dollars. So turkey sandwiches. Chips. Don't try so and distract me from my twenty dollars. Um. Pickle. Cause don't think that you're taking any of our stash to your little rag ass dates. Shout out to Oviana. <laughs> it's not happening. You funny. <laughs> so we go get some chips. I can get chips are free. I can get those from anywhere. The shop. Yes. Chips are free. Where you get free chips? You right. At? We all want to so, know this. You know my bad. No, no, no. Chips? You right. I'm gonna go to. I'm gonna go to the shop. I'm gonna pay my dollar. I'm gonna get two bags of chips. Bam. Regular lays. Not regular. She likes barbecue or sour cream. Fine. Specialty lays. Actually, she likes. Um, uh, you know what? I don't even want to talk to her no more. She I'm in somebody else's inbox by now. <laughs> I don't even want to talk to her. Okay, no I'm sorry. I'm being ignorant. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> she likes kettle chips for real. But okay, get, go ahead. We can do kettle. Jalapeno. Cool. Either way, chips are no, a dollar. Not jalapeno, because she may want to kiss afterwards. We don't want y'all breath. As long as both of our breaths are equally jalapeno. Breast. Breaths. Breaths. Say with me. Three Fs. Breaths. Breaths. As long breaths. as both of our breaths <laughs> are equally jalapenoed. Okay, you're good. We're good. Okay, okay. Because right. it's kind of like a, it, it cancels it out. You're right. There okay. it is. So chips are a dollar. So now we left with eight dollars. Okay. So cool. We got wine. We got turkey sandwiches. We got chips. Yeah. And dessert. Okay. We got candy bars at the shop. So that's another two dollars. So now we left candy with six. Bars. And we got candy. Yes. She in our discussion, cupcakes. no, she don't. In our discussion, she said that she likes Snickers. Oh, bam! Okay. So there, we She's got allergic to peanuts. So I know she didn't say that. Oh, you did say that. Uh, did I say Snickers? I meant Butterfingers. That's Ooh, peanuts, uh, butter too. She likes Twizzlers. Twizzlers. That's what I meant. You know, I be tripping sometimes. So like we got candy. Hats, Twizzlers. <laughs> so we got candy, and now we got six dollars left. So that's wine, turkey sandwich, chips. Candy. I already got the blanket. I already got the basket. I went to mom's house. She, 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 she got the basket. Okay. Cool. All right. That's a perfectly good date. And I got six dollars to put in the gas tank. Let me get six on four, please. I was wondering how you were gonna get there. In the car. And I'ma put I'm gonna put that six dollars <laughs> in the gas tank. And I'ma pick her up. And I'ma pick her up. And I'ma pick her up. Alright. There it is. See? It's so it started raining. Well, we just better pack up and go real fast. Because I <laughs> hope you ain't making me buy no umbrella. You're going to be on the inside of the car with your $6 of gas, wasting your $6 worth of gas. It's I mean, raining. 
I mean, if you got a four cylinder car, you're not going to use that much <laughs> gas. I've done that before. You can do a lot in a car. Okay, whatever, man. How so, much we got left? Six dollars. So listen, this is a success. This is a successful date right here. Twenty dollars. Date ain't over just because the food. There's what more. There's more. This was no. This was a. This was a time for us to get to know each other. So we got together, had our date, our lunch date. I took her back home, and that was that. We we conversed over the phone afterwards. Would you have taken her back home if you had a little more money? That's a give and take, yes and no. I'm listening. So, I mean, yeah, if I had more money to spend, then of course we could do more. But if I don't, again, I'm not going to like let her know that, but I'll be like, all right, this was a cool date. And if she does want to do something else. Then you don't have another $20. Nah, at that point, bro, just lie. Be like, hey, listen, just I got lie. I got to go. I got to go home. Oh. I got to go my, my granny, she got a cane, and <laughs> the cane just broke. I got a text message, but this is only if she oh, offers to do gosh. something else, which she shouldn't, okay, because stop, you've already stop. planned the date. I've heard enough of this cheap date stuff. Okay, so real quick, I just want to know the dollar amount, uh, an estimated dollar amount of what is the most expensive date you've ever paid for, and what all came with that after you spent all that money? I'm trying to get to a point for the ladies here. The so, most expensive date. I should have thought about this ahead of time. I've, I know for a fact, I may have spent more, but I know for a fact one time I spent like a little over $200. And what was the point of spending that much? Was it based off of her status? Were you just trying to impress her? Was it something that you were trying to get? Only thing I wanted was her heart. Oh. Um... <laughs> <laughs> okay. No, but for real, um, I'm Why trying to. So much? I'm trying to remember like the whole situation. I do know that I did want to impress her, um, so I gave her the option. I'm a person who likes to give people options, mm. so I'll give you three options to choose from. You pick whichever one works, or unless you have like a completely different one, but you know, you get the option. You pick and choose. So I asked her, you know, what kind of restaurant do you like? She told me, I'm like, all right, cool. So we went to the restaurant. Um, we ordered the food and I have a very nice taste palette as well. So I ordered something. I think it was probably about $40, $50. She ordered something that was probably about $40 as well. And we got wine and we had dessert. Spent your $200 at the restaurant or did you no that's what I'm saying it was over uh, I think we went to go see a movie afterwards too and it was a Friday night it was a weekend I'm gonna say that mm. so tickets are what like way more than five dollars way more than five dollars so <laughs> that was probably like another twenty five dollars maybe thirty dollars um and that was it because we I know after the movie we still had the dessert from the restaurant so it ain't like we went nowhere for dessert mm -hmm. uh, did but you get that some was it. other dessert? no no that's that's not me I'm not that person at all oh. and so uh, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, no so yeah that's the that's pretty much what I spent and so I've spent less than $20 actually I've spent less than $10 shout out to my boy Jeff uh, if you go back and What's look up, at Jeff? if you go back and look at the thread, Jeff's a fool. Jeff, you're hilarious. <laughs> if you go you, if you go back and look at the thread, just find Jeff Calhoun, find his comment, and then you will you will see how just I go to his page too. He's hilarious. <laughs> yes, everybody go add Jeff Calhoun on Facebook. You about to do numbers, bro? <laughs> okay, so getting back to the cheap date. subject at hand. Yes, the cheap date versus the the most expensive date. I say that because you you even shared a cheap date in your Facebook. Post. I did. Okay, so comparing the two, a real cheap date that I actually I, I don't want. Yeah, see, you didn't plan that though. There's a negative. Let me say this. There's a negative connotation when it comes to cheap date. Like I mean, the word cheap. Okay, inexpensive. Inexpensive. Yeah. That's why I initially put it because when people hear cheap, of course you think low quality, all of that. Yeah. I never. Sorry. I've never done a cheap date. Okay. Like, I've definitely done inexpensive. Okay. I like inexpensive. Yeah. 
cheat? No. Okay, getting back to it, man. What what we getting back to? I'm sorry. I'm trying to get So if you were comparing the two, the two days, the two experiences, um, which would you say which would you say you had more fun at? Or would you say one trumped the other because you spent more or you spent less? Were both women pleased? Um, I mean, what was the longevity of the relationship based off of what you did for both dates? Well, of course they were pleased. I mean, look at me. Uh, all of a sudden. <laughs> nah, but for real, they were they were both pleased. Uh, each date had its its perks. It was really dope. Perks. Uh, it's perks. Like what type of perks? It, it's it's good points. Let me say that it's good points. Oh, oh. Good moments. Know. Okay, I didn't know so, where you were going with no, that. No, I wasn't going there. A little nasty. So I, just, I try to get it out <laughs> out of him for y'all. So. so uh, the inexpensive date was really dope. We got a chance to really talk and really get to know each other. Same thing with the expensive date. We were sitting at the restaurant. We were talking, really getting to know each other. It was really cool. Um, it worked out. Like I, I had no complaints on both of them. The inexpensive one, we we never actually started dating. Um, we realized we're still friends to this day. As a matter of fact, like we really cool and we can hang out and legit do inexpensive things like we're on the same page it's not that we don't have money she don't like spending money i don't like spending money we know that we have to but you know whatever mm. so the the expensive date we tried to date for like a month but our schedules conflicted like she was really busy i was really busy and it just didn't work out too well so um each one had its own thing but i just wanted to really put it out there that you can have a dope inexpensive date i don't want people to think that you have to spend money in order to have a good day because there's a lot of people who a lot of men who think they have to spend a lot of money mm -hmm. and a lot of women who think that a lot of money has to be spent in order for a date to be good mm -hmm. i don't want that thought that's why i made the status initially. Good. so mm -hmm. but y'all still savage i just want y'all to know that like y'all like super I was saying here for the savage. comments though i was so here for man it. <laughs> like y'all really tickled me last night going in <laughs> My one homegirl, she was like, yeah, we could take a nice walk. I'm going to walk him right to a job interview. So they <laughs> like, dang. Yeah, man. Like, I'm, it's, I'm glad it's, I it's got thick skin because if I was, a couple of years ago, I was probably that guy that I always had a job, but my funds were really, really, really low. And I mean, it'd be like that. Reading them comments, it's man, I would have, what's a, what's a small bridge here in St. Louis? I would have jumped <laughs> off. That bridge out over coming coming here, that bridge. I just free fall off of that one. Like uh, there's no hope for me. But yes. So that's this is what the context of the uh the status was for. To get different ideas that are inexpensive for dates because not every everybody ain't gonna have it every time. It be like that. It's just the life that we live in, you know. I think the reason they were kind of passionate about it is because this is like an initial yeah. date. So maybe that's why. Okay, and I and I see that, and I'm cool with all of them that were like going in and totally taking the status left. I'm cool with all of them. So they, I, I understood where they were coming from because mm -hmm. it's a lot of trash dudes out here who've been yeah. giving trash dates. So yeah. that's why I'm trying to at least give an example of. And you, you don't have to spend money. A lot of dudes always get nervous, too. I've had discussions where, you know, guys would be like, you know, trying to take all these women out on dates. These women expensive and they this and that. You're making it expensive. You don't necessarily have to spend a lot of money every time. It's true. So. It's true. Yeah. That's just my two cents. That was more like a dollar. Yep, one and a half. It's more like a dollar, but it, it worked. So, yeah. That has been uh, our discussion for the Gender Project. I really want you guys to leave comments. Let, let us know what you guys think. Subscribe, subscribe, Please subscribe. Do. We want to hear from you. Leave a comment, like, All and share it. this video. You can find us on Facebook, The Gender Project, Instagram, The Gender Project STL, and our website, thegenderprojectstl.com, honey. Yes, thank you guys for watching. You have now watched another episode of the Red Hot Ripley Talk with The Gender Project. Yeah.